Hi, um, I'm going to show you how to do the transfer technique, transferring your traced design onto your linoleum block. Uh, as you guys know, I already carved and printed with my block using this image. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to show you on a recycled piece that somebody back from 2022 did not end up using. Um, you can still see her pencil lines on here. I erased it as much as I could, but um, I'm just going to transfer my design on top of hers, which I think will turn out darker than hers, and then hers won't confuse me. Um, so you're going to get a clean block, um, and you're going to put, first thing you're going to do is use a Sharpie and put your first name, last name, and period five on it. You do not have to put my name on it, and you don't have to put the date on it. That's optional. You just need first name, last name, and your period. Okay, so make sure you do that, and make sure you do that on the fabric side. The side with all the strings on it is the back. Don't write on the smoother front side, okay? So do that first, and then you should have your tracing paper still taped in your sketchbook, so you're going to take that off. Okay, you're going to carefully take the tape off. You can't um, use the tape on this side because we're actually going to flip this over upside down. So just be really careful taking the tape off because this tracing paper tears really easily. It's not the end of the world if your tracing paper does end up tearing, but just try not to if you can help it. Okay, so here's the front side of my tracing paper. This is really important. Listen up. If you're not listening, listen now. You can't tape it down like this. This is the front side. This is the graphite, the side that the graphite is on. You have to tape it, put it down and tape it down, graphite side down, okay? So you're flipping. If this is the front of your tracing paper, the side that you drew on, you have to flip it down like that so it's facing down onto your linoleum, okay? That's really important. The transfer technique will not work if you put it like this with the graphite facing up towards you. I will repeat that 10 more times and still there will be somebody in the class who doesn't listen to this. So make sure that you are not that kid that doesn't listen to this. You have to look at the side that has the pencil on it. It's shiny on the side that has the pencil on it. The other side, not shiny, right? So make sure that you this shiny graphite side goes down, facing down onto the linoleum, okay? Then center it as best you can. Your tracing paper might, paper might be a slightly different size than your um, block, and that's okay. Just center it. And then you need couple more pieces of tape. You can re, I'm going to just reuse my tape that I was using before and make sure you put it on a spot that is not going to be traced on. So right here, I'm not going to trace anything and right here, I'm not going to trace anything. So that's all you need. Just two pieces of tape just so it doesn't move around on you. Okay. And then I like to use a colored pencil because when I use a colored pencil, I can see where I've traced and where I haven't traced. So look, you have to be pretty exact with this. You're going to go over the back of all your lines. Now see how I, I went exactly over that antenna? Now watch. There it is. It's the graphite that was on this side transferred onto the linoleum. I'm going to do the other antenna now. Go like that. Exactly over the line like that. And there's my other antenna, okay? You're just gonna repeat that with all the lines. You have to press pretty hard to really get that graphite transferred. So here's what it looks like if I don't press hard. If I just press really lightly, some graphite transferred a little bit right there, but it's not nearly as dark as that, right? So I'm gonna make sure I press really hard and when I do that, it's much darker, okay? So every line that you have drawn 
on the front of your tracing paper, you are going over the back of it and make sure you go directly onto that line. If you go next to the line and not on it like this, some people don't realize and they just go like that next to the line, nothing's gonna transfer, there's no graphite there. You have to go on the line, directly on it like that to be able to transfer it, okay? And every line that you press hard on, as long as you've got graphite on the other side of your paper, it is gonna transfer, okay? So you're gonna do that for the whole thing until your whole design is transferred and then you can take your tracing paper off and you can just put stick your tracing paper loose back inside your portfolio. You don't really need it anymore after that point, okay? So finish all your transferring. Make sure by the end of class that your name and period are on the back of your block. And then you're gonna put your block into the bin for your period over on the paint counter. Make sure you put it in the correct bin that's labeled for your period. That's it.